All right, welcome back to the workshop. We uh, have got the next phase of the CNC machine come in. So it's here, two big old boxes, I think a hundred and some pounds a piece. Fragile, all of that. Yeah, they beat the boxes up a little bit. So fragile or not, they uh, still uh, team lift. Yeah, they are heavy. So they didn't necessarily worry about this side up. Uh, I hope that was more for unpacking the boxes than, than the other. Uh, but anyways, we're finally to the point where we'll be able to start assembling this on the table. I'll go ahead. Uh, there's a good video, I believe, out there that I had found that shows how to do it. So we'll just catch bits and pieces of it as we open it up and see what we can add to it and bring you along for the journey and see what it takes to get her set up. We've uh, made a little progress on unpacking. We've got uh, a few things undone. This was in the one box, which looks like it's the header and all your boards that are going to go down through the middle of it. Uh, we've unpacked both the hand ra handrails here. And these tracks I mentioned are going to go in between it. So we found those. We found some hardware boxes. We found the router. I've put a few of them, parts and pieces in here already, uh, just for storage until I need them. And I've got this in here. We'll have to look at that a little bit. Maybe there's something there. The only thing I've not seen is the manual on how to put all this together. I've got this is going to be the main head. Couple screws laying there. We'll find out what those are. I don't see a manual down in there any place though. And then uh, it does send us a little thing there. We'll have to go to the site. We've got a controller, wiring harness, power pendant, and a uh, bit setter. So we've got all these parts and pieces. Don't really know what to do with putting them all together yet. So I'm gonna have to go hit the old website up and see if it's got uh, a manual on there someplace that I can get a hold of and figure out how to put this together.
Okay. Uh, that was the sound might have been off a little bit. I see. I forgot to turn my microphone on. But anyways, uh, we've got everything tightened up. We've got the base all put in. Got all the slats put on. Lots and lots and lots of screws. That took a little while. And uh, got the center put on. I think that's about all we needed on that. Um, so we're making progress. We'll keep on putting it together and see what's the next phase. Okay, I was going to go ahead and see if I can uh, get another little update on how we're doing. Uh, ended up missing the end cover. We we're supposed to have something for that. It's missing from the package. I don't know where that could have gone. Uh, the next thing that's missing is there's supposed to be a ground block here that I do not have. I've got all the little wire connectors connected up they really only go one place so that's really not that confusing got all our wires routed around and tied in here so everything here's all wired back up uh, and we started with the router and this is the one that I uh, got with the unit and so it's been a little bit of a challenge here so what we've got to do on these cables to get the router power through them in these things here, you have to clip these little things off. You take a screwdriver. I don't know if you can really see this. I had to uh, clip it out of those little clips right there. And then after you get the wire all run back through it, they just snap back down again. And uh, we run them around. So that's the way the power is going to be on that one. That'll come around somehow here and uh, hook back up on the top of this. And we'll wrap that around. But so far, everything that's missing is not going to stop anything, I don't believe. Those end covers and the other. We'll have to call and see what the uh, customer service is like here in a little bit. And uh, see if they have any problem getting those parts sent to me. So that's the update for right now. The uh, other camera was out of battery, so we're not going to get any of that for a while. But uh, about to close it up. We've been working on this for approximately three and a half hours to get it to this point. So, making progress. All right, this is the next day, and we're finishing up pretty much everything we needed to do. Um, kind of go down through here. I don't remember exactly. I think we were working on the uh, cables here going up to the, the router, and we've located that, put them in place. It runs across, comes down through, and ends up down at that end, tied down. So that should be the way that goes. Uh, the router's been tightened in with the two screws there. I've tightened, I've gone through and tightened up. I don't know if I missed that step or not, but I've tightened up all the screws down through here and pretty much gone through and checked all the other ones. Um, we've hooked up all the wires. We've got our kill switch sitting here. Uh, I went ahead and mounted it and then just drilled a simple little hole to get those cables up underneath. Uh, this one here is going to go to the computer. I've got to figure out how that's going to work yet. It might just kind of wrap around underneath there um, and then uh, I went ahead and I built a little shelf up underneath here and that'll hold our controller box and all those are plugged in uh, kind of keeps it out of the way a little bit and maybe a little bit more dust free on it and that kind of organizes our cables in the back uh, and all the cables across here are good and up to here now I've plugged in me uh, extension cord there for the router and then we've got the other one up underneath here is coming out and I'm going to plug it in over here 
Uh, and that will give me power to the control box. That sh and then the only other thing I'm going to need is my laptop plugged in. And I'm going to wire the bench up. We'll probably make that another little uh, update as we go along. But uh, as far as setting this up, we're really pretty much uh, where we want to be. I think it's time to add some power. There's a pretty good video that I had watched previously to this that uh, goes through the whole setup and what to check for and, and that type of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and just run that. I would recommend the same thing if you're using this. Is There's a very good video on their site to, to do all these checks. So I would recommend doing that. And we'll call this a wrap on this one. And I'm sure here in the very near future, we'll be seeing some projects knocked on out. And we'll see what we can do with it. Look forward to them. And we'll check with y'all on the next project. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell to boost my channel a little bit. And it'll remind you that I put a video out. So thanks a bunch. We'll see you on the next one.